What's up everyone? Good morning, wherever you live in this crazy world that we live in. It's Q from Retro Q Gaming. We're back. We're in effect with a brand new early morning stream that I didn't plan on doing. But I woke up earlier than usual. So we all know Super Nintendo Classic, SNES Mini, SNES Classic, not the SNES, is out in a few hours. So let me see. I have about two hours to kill. A little bit less. What am I going to do to kill this time? Well, we are going to stick it to Nintendo and play some Streets of Rage 2. Let me just get stream chat going real quick while this loads up. Boom, and that is loading in effect. Good afternoon, you say, Nugget. Hmm, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Let me just get this volume adjusted. So this is our sequel. Oh no. It's not recognizing me. Oh. Hang on. I think I have to reconfig the controller. Uh, where are my input options? Oh. Are you serious? Okay. Let me do something here. We're going to try something on the fly. I don't know if you can hear the beeps. Let me load this up. Setting up device. Okay, it should be working. It should be working fine now. Yeah, and Nugget, you haven't been on a stream in a while, but welcome back. I know there's a huge time difference, but it's all good. Okay, completed setup. Hopefully it recognizes it in game straight away. It does beautiful So we can go straight back in uh, full screen. Works perfectly Quality content exactly snort Uh, so level nor you know we're gonna turn we had an issue with this in streets of the rage one last night so we keep the difficulty the same but the amount of lives we have is going on and just remember to keep it baller high quality arcade stick baby blaze is an all-rounder like let's see axel he's got the power he's got the stamina he's got nothing else wait no it's max axel technique what, what does technique do really blaze is an all-rounder and Skate has the speed. There's not music again. Straight away. You can really see the different... Oh, that's the... Oh, no, I couldn't change my buttons. They're different to Streets of Rage 1. But you can see where they refined it. Graphically, mechanically, everything. Compared to Streets of Rage 1. And... Get, uh, I was talking in the Streets of Rage 1 stream about the uh, special moves, like this is one of them. Double tap forward and attack. And they added hellfires in this one too, I love it. I really feel like Streets of Rage 2 is probably the best one. It's the most refined. And like they really hit their stride. Give me a sec. Uh, since the Destiny 2 stream, yeah, that's uh that's been a couple of weeks. And yet it, it does the whole curve TV aspect to keep it with it. Like it's an old school game. We know it's from from our CRT eras. So they all have the curved screen. The cool thing about it is the it fits well because obviously arcade machines use CRT screens as well, so they have the curves. You can turn the, the degree of the curve on this off. But I, I decided I'd leave it on because I want that old school feel. You can actually turn on scan lines as well on this. But 
I'm a big fan of scan lines, but whatever way they work, I'm not sure if it's just how they work in this particular collection, or if it's just because it's like a really high quality PC monitor. They actually look terrible on this, so I have to turn it off. It's so ridiculously good. It looks better, the sprites look better, it's smoother, the music is better. It's just so good. It's ridiculous. And this is still why Streets of Rage is better than any of the Nintendo equivalents. The, one of the few things that Sega did better. Wait a minute, did you hear that? His laugh sounded like the evil like ghost laugh or whatever it was from Looney Tunes, like Daffy Duck and all that. I'm a big fan of, of Looney Tunes, especially Daffy Duck's Blackbusters, my favorite one. And the evil laughs featured very prominently in that. The thing I really love about in here is if you position it correctly, you control people through it. Oh, no, he caught me with the troll. I was trying to bounce forward and back, back and forth between them. Keep you stunned. Smack City. Foreground objects, they don't get in my way at all. I very rarely use my special in this game because it it's handy to get out of a bind and it does a shitload of damage. But it actually oh throws the table, wreck that furniture. Doing the super actually um, actually drains a little bit of health. So that's never it's one of the things you have to be really careful of. You need it sparingly. Boss version of her this time. Come on, Electra. Suplex City. So the game is a little bit abusable. Like, I could have locked her in a permanent loop there if I really wanted. Oh, she got a whip. Come on. She got the whip off screen. Out the back. Cool rain effects. Bartender and all his crony. Oh shit. Uh, it doesn't. You can't use. You can't use uh, light guns on like monitors and flat screen TVs. They don't recognize. They don't register properly. Screen refresh is too fast. To uh, let it register. It's gonna block all my hits. Not anymore. That's why they had to in in consoles, the modern-ish ones, they had to start using like I won't call them motion controls, but like look at the Wii or even the PlayStation Move. They use that to to replicate light guns. Because you've got a camera by the screen somewhere. See if I can get the... No, I can't. Stage 1 player. To be honest, I would love a Mega Drive Mini in done the proper way. Because Sega licensed out the Mega Drive Minis and stuff to, uh, to like, At Games. And At Games make terrible Mega Drive Minis. But if they did an official one, like, in the same quality that Nintendo does, the SNES and the NES, it would just be... It'd be so much better. Oh, 
boy just got a motorbike to back in the head. Come on, you. This guy's name is Z. Not even Donovan, he's just Z. No, it's not the knife. I hate that when you're about to punch somewhere, you go to do something, then you actually pick up a weapon. Storms. And he picked up my fight. It's my fight, motherfucker. Here, you want it so bad, have it for the side of the head. I knocked him off, but he's still. Oh. I have to get him off. There we go. Oh, it still hit me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Did it? Yeah, the explosions got them. Despite them being like explosions for them, it still killed them. I can't remember what old school film it is, but it's like a gang film, a street gang film. Oh, you fucker. And... Oh shit. Oh, he threw me through the pipe. And in, in that specific street gang film, there, uh, there's like a big motorbike scene. Everyone's like circling around them with bikes and stuff. It's a pretty famous one, but I can't remember what it is. The modern versions of oh, wait, wait, hang on, I want to pause this for one sec. Uh, modern versions of light guns require something else. That, yeah, like the, yeah, that's what I was saying. The places you move and all that stuff. Uh, sh this fighting game make GTA pedestrian. Yeah, it, they really do. Like the they're so basic. In, oh crap! I'm going, in Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. These are where it's really at. These are still like the premier types of fighting games. Got games like this, Batman Returns, um, Final Fight to an extent. We got the arcade ones that never got ports. We got just so many other ones that did get ports. It's a little bit also. Oh, oh, she just somersault kicked it. I can't remember how to do that. There's a way to actually do it, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, I lost my fight. Look how he just throw it. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. It's okay, if I just don't get hit, it'll be fine. Easier said than done. Nope. I'm gonna try to sneak up behind me and toss me. Okay, Surger. He sounds like some Euro trash. My name is Surger. I need to be careful and try to pick up the turkey as like, late as possible. I love this rail, so I think it's gonna. Oh! Okay, maybe. This is perfect. The turkey is here for the boss. Jet. Ah, it was too early. Keep him on screen. I don't want him jetting in from off screen. Come on. Yeah, didn't even need the turkey. I should have went and picked it up anyway. But... I definitely agree with that, Jack. That uh, GTA, it, it's one of those games who has like every type of gameplay in it. It doesn't master any of them, but it does them to a competent enough level. And of course, it just makes them really fucking fun. Get a knife in a pin, stab some hobos. Miss. Fog. 
<laughs> what kind of gang members are named like Mist and Fog, Storm, Sleet and Hail? They can be like the Weatherman clan. Okay, if you look at the arcade machines there on the right hand side, they're called Bare Knuckle. Bare Knuckle is the, the Japanese name for Streets of Rage. So in, in Japan, this game is called Bare Knuckle 2. That's meta as fuck, that is. God, I just I miss arcades. I really wish they were still a thing. Unfortunately, nowadays, if you go into an arcade, there's basically nothing to play but rows and rows and rows of like slot machines and video poker and shit. Gone are the days where you could go in and like, sit down and play whatever on a on a cocktail cabinet or a cocktail unit. It just you had rows and rows and rows of cabinets with Neo Geo games, Street Fighter, Virtua Fighter, Virtua Tennis. Time Crisis, House of the Dead, Aliens, AVP, fucking everything. I miss those days so much. A few years back, like maybe two or three years back, I actually... Oh, I didn't mean to jump forward. I did a little bit of research into... This fucking... There we go. I tried to do a little bit of research into... Uh, I won't say founding an arcade, but opening one. It's, I, obviously, you know, you need to get business money and all, but uh, it's, it seems very risky in the modern era. It's probably why they kind of fell by the wayside. I'd love to do it. But the initial investment is ridiculous. Like modern arcade machines, when you buy them, they're like 12, 15,000 euros. Obviously, they make it back and profit in time. But I mean, like at a euro a go, you're looking at 15,000 15, uses just before it breaks even. How long is that going to be? You factor everything else in over it. Oh, this guy, he's fucking kicking the shit out of me. Suzaku. We're in like some pirate's place here. How is there a pirate ship just like in the middle of the city? Especially in the back of an arcade. Oh, I, I just noticed we started with five lives. I, I got so many points and up to nine. Oh, Kusanagi has a sword. He's got a green boy over here as well. Hanzo. Hanzo main. He's got kunai. I think I want a sword better than anything else. And of course, right as I say that, the two of them are on top of each other, so she picks up a kunai. Well, that's good enough. Perfect. Keep it. Keep it for the next area. She probably won't. No. She just jumps off the pirate ship. I can't tell if I'm in like... Oh my god, get popped off. Last thing you want to do is get stuck in a, in a loop like that. Oh, I didn't see the whip bitch there. Elisa. There it is, it's beautiful, look at it. There's so much damage. I went to punch him, but I picked up the knife. Oh, she kicked me out of it. Let's bother him down. Now we get to go... I love this place because it reminded me of the Aliens arcade game. Which I'm now lucky enough to own. I have to remember, this was the 90s, so everything was trying to capitalize on the 80s. That's 
sword is wrecking shit. Not surprised. Slice by a sword will do that. Fellow of you. It might have just disappeared. Just out of reach. You have to with these like turtles looking guys. I I don't know why I call them turtles looking guys. They just remind you of them for some reason. Just fighting that thing versus throughout the entire game so far. Oh, right, they said I got sliced. Come on, you, give me that sword. It's fucking blanca looking motherfucker. Piece of health. Oh, yeah, turkey. Full health, baby. Oh, he's suplexing me. I can't get near him. I can't let him near me. I can't counter his anti air. Or how do you counter his air? I can't jump at him. Okay, that kicks the shit out of him. Catches him in the air, but if he slides right at me, it's so much better. There we go. Hopped off, man, once it actually hit him. Stage 3 complete. Let me see what time it is. Ah, I still got plenty of time before the snares open, or the, before GameStop opens for the snares. And then. It will be Super Nintendo streams as far as the eye can see. Sega Stadium, my kind of place. That kind of makes me sad that Sega have fallen. I won't say fallen so much, but you know they're not the Sega of yesteryear. Like I remember, I went to like Sega. I won't call it Sega headquarters. I don't remember what the name of it was, like Sega World or something like that. In London at one point, when I was over in London, much much younger when I was a kid, and there was like floors and floors of just Sega arcade machines. I was, it was a thing of viewing. And just to go along with all the quality Sega shit, just yesterday it was announced that Sonic Adventure is now backwards compatible on Xbox One. The last good Sonic game. I say that with an asterisk because I hear Sonic Mania is amazing. Haven't played it yet. Still need to buy it. it does look really good, but if you ask me, Sonic Adventure is the last good one. 
Food. Delicious food. I think it was funny overnight as well. Since I played Streets of Rage 1 last night, overnight, I saw an announcement that uh, I can never pronounce his name correctly because I don't do Japanese names very well. The composer of the Streets of Rage series, he is going to do like a little bit of a worldwide tour for some of his music, including Streets of Rage and Shinobi. Now, of course, it's not from Ireland. It's in London, LA, and I think the other one was Sydney. Fuck, these guys are throwing me right. No, he was just out of range. Oh no, I just remembered where I am. Or specifically the boss to this level. And it's gonna kick the bollocks out of me. I'm gonna go with the pipe just because it's got the reach. No, stop. Please, please. game I'm going to play on a SNES Mini. I don't know. Uh, there's so many good stuff to choose from. I think I'm leaning to, it's not 100% confirmed yet, but I'm leaning towards Super Mario World. But it's not 100%. I'll see how I feel when I turn it on. But I just think it will be very fitting. Like it's Super Mario World, it's the Super Nintendo, it basically goes Nope, I mean to do that. Big fan. I was hoping he wouldn't flat me when I troll him, but... Just, she can suplex the shit out of this big motherfucker. Give her diminutive frame. Well, Blaze can suplex me all she wants. Oh! His belly flop beats my... whatever that would really call it. Somersault flip. Because this is exactly what you expect in the middle of a baseball pitch. Baseball field? Baseball stadium? I'm not American, what do you call the baseball thingy? I think it, a field would be most accurate. Oh! Hear it, the screech. He drops down with his foot extended into the back of my face. Not just the back of my head, but the back of my face. Oh, we got new colors in these guys. Well, at least those, the gingers. They're green now. Hair white. Ah, his kick beat mine somehow. You know what? There is my super in effect. Oh, he kicked me out of the air. He stuffed my jump. You dirtbags. Stuck in the loop. 
Wow, terus bisa. Yeah, there's a move. There we go. There's a backwards move in this one as well that I was forgetting about. It's a little bit different in this one from the first one. Because in Streets of Rage 1, you just have to press jump and attack at the same time. This one seems to be jump, attack, and back at the same time. <sighs> Got me with the super. Or with this fireball, whatever we call it. It's suplex, this one. Streets of Rage quality stuff, that's right. I think it's baseball field. Yeah, exactly. We don't play baseball here either. And of course, there's some underground like, fighting pit arena where I get to fight the Ultimate Warrior. Now, this one, he is so much harder in this one compared to Streets of Rage 1. I'd probably lose like a shitload of lives here. This guy was always my weakness. Maybe I've like learned a, a pattern on. I know if you try to hit him with a, a full combo, he, he counters it. Oh, I didn't mean to. If I realized that, I would have. Yeah, he suplexes. Oh, sure. The, the crowd cheers for him when he suplexes me. But they don't do shit when my little. Oh no! I had him in a graph and he just broke out of it with that. Dirtbag. Okay, he's down to his final hell bar. I keep getting too close to him and he gets the suplex. Okay, one more combo should happen. Boom! Kick the shit out of him. This calls for a quick drink. I'm just gonna pause it as soon as we get to the next level. I have my drink here, so it'll only take a second. There we go. Ah, oh, the music stops. Back onto a boat. On a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. Bring a knife to a pipe fight. Although I do prefer using the using the pipe. It's got the range. It's ridiculous. Oh, he just he just dropped down and bitch slapped the shit out of me. Out of the air. He done it again. <laughs> done it again. What am I talking about? Done it again. When you try to say done and did at the same time, and you can breathe fire. That's perfectly reasonable. I mean, we've seen it before. The version of the Street Fighter is one today. Just gotta get those counter reflexes in. I remember playing, when this game was ported to the Xbox 360, there's an achievement. I can't remember if it's finish the game on the hardest difficulty, or get a certain score on the hardest difficulty. Or well, which you have to do by playing on the hardest difficulty. And this particular section here was just so ridiculously hard. me with your fucking five point palm of justice. Oh, I think it's this one. There's like a, a little mini boss section somewhere in the bowl. And we got kickboxers. Kickboxers were also all the rage back then. Back, they were all the streets of rage back then. That's right. Yeah, here it is. See, you've got this, this boss guy and the kickboxer. He gets the trolling. See, they're 
they're hitting me out man. My back flip tank. Get me in the corner. Good. Of course, I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty right now, so it's not much of an issue. Oh, he got me. Countered me mid combo. And this isn't even the actual boss, so I have to be careful not to lose too much. Fuck. There's too much health. If I can even just beat him without losing a life, I'll be happy. Even if I've got, like, minuscule. Okay, there we go. Minuscule amounts of health. Because I might get a turkey or something here. Sword is almost as good as our kitchen was. Turkey? No. Oh! It's so hard to hit him without a uh, without a jump. Bikers are back. This guy's fog. So we've got like fog and storm and that guy's calm. Gale. These guys are all like weather based. I think it's a terrible name for a clan. Dang. Oh! Setsura just came out of nowhere. I'm gonna fucking slice you down. Oh no, there's too many of them. Is the knife off no. The knife's not off screen. Not even a knife uh, sword. They're all over the place and they're throwing the shit out of me. That fucker picked up the sword. It's my sword. No, it's gone! Fuck! Suppose at least they can't use it. Look at that! He's doing some fucking backward shadow stuff. So who we got for the boss here? Just a fat guy? That won't be too hard. We've already picked the shit up. Thanks for these lads. Balloon, what a name. Oh, I just, oh, that's not, okay, that's not the boss, fuck. Our bear. It's got a big R stop. Oh my god. It's got his fucking battle rock over the foot. It's like a mixture of Balrog and hmm, Bald Bull from what the hell? Nope, that's bad. You see that he was just going back for the bitch slap. I need to get rid of the fat guy. Oh, he's stitching me a header. No, no! I ran right into one because I was dodging the other. He's got that combo. The other, if the, if the little ginger wasn't coming up behind me, I would have been able to finish that combo properly. I think this one is like the, the wrestler as well, you can't finish him with a... Ooh! What a counter. Oh my god, this guy is popping on. I can't 
get away fast enough from that. Got him in a corner and bit the bollocks out. Lost a shitload of lives on that level. I think I lost, what, four? Not happy with that at all. Stage six. I don't remember how many stages are in this game here. Ninjas on the beach. Oh, he threw me. I thought I had him stunned. Inside. Doing it again. Shadow step. He's got his red for you. Kuna as well. Fucking get your side. Nope, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Counter him right out of there. Now. Joke is on you when I have your kunai. He's got ninja stars! Fucking jump and sure control. This guy's running circles around me. That's. I'm gonna show my inner weave at this point. But I just heard what he said when he does his like shadow step thing and it's it, it's in the rule means shadow clone sorry my, my weed coming out Jesus Christ! They're countering my everything. Well, except, uh. They're not countering my fucking. Suplex. Pheasant, what a name. Condor. Oh, they're all named after birds. Falcon. The other one is just about. Need to face to come right out. Stick your might out, you bollocks. Wow. I'm not going to comment on that one, Jack. Naruto's not hentai, just remember that. I mean, it probably could be if you wanted it to be, but that's not how I roll. Or is it? Unconfirmed. Where the hell am I? It almost looks like a military base or something, or a contract. Oh, he threw me! I thought I had a way out of it. You know what? Stuff it! Eat my fucking Hadouken. Wouldn't mind an apple, though. I don't need a turkey, but like an apple would be satisfactory. Turkey would be better, but... One of these has to have a... Fuck you then, it doesn't. Gormano. Is it Gormano or Gormano? I think I want to say Gormano instead of Gormano. See that? He was trying to queue up the bitch that time. Ghost. One more hit. I should finish him off. There we go. Stuffed at midair. Just walk right over. Like 
fist of fuel. More motorbikes. This is how I count the motorbikes, I guess. Apple. Oh, these bitches. This one is rain. Oh wait, they're just gonna keep coming. No, there's a limited amount of them. Okay, never mind. No, what? Oh, he held me in place. Well, they just kicked the shit out of me. They whipped the shit out of me. They're doing it again. Kick the back of the head. That sort of thing right out. I moved away from that. Oh no! Wow, you've got so few continues in this one. No! Oh, I, why couldn't I grab her? needs to be a turkey, I fucking guarantee it. Yeah, look, I didn't need it. Oh, I suppose I can leave it here for the boss. Stealth. It was too early up to jump. Shit. I noticed that the... Uh, turkey. Flying guy has so little health, so if I can just get rid of him, then I only have to worry about one guy flying. at this point that the reuse of bosses. Like actual bosses, not just mini bosses. Oh, that was too early? Yeah. I jumped right in that Counter! Saw the slide. I'd say flipped over it, kicked the shit out of him. Plenty of time. Extra lives galore. Stage 7. Got some funky industrial music going on. I wonder if I can do anything with my new wrestling move I invented up last night when I was playing Streets of Rage 1 with the conveyor suplex. Buffet. So maybe the other guy's name was Gorman. They all seem to be named stuff after like food and fat stuff. So Gorman. Gourmand, or would make more sense. Oh, Typhoon with the bitch lap. Casual gold bars. She should just beat someone in the face with a gold bar. That'd have hurt a bitch. That would almost backfire on me. You might nearly got a, a hit in when I was going to pick up the food. Almost would have counteracted the point of getting food. Stopped my jump was up. Hmm. 
스트레스들에게 아, I got caught with hot shit. I pick up the pipe from behind. Thought he was gonna stuff me with it. Right in the back of the head. While it was mid combo on the other lad. Turned around, kicked the shit out of me. Ooh! I know that. He threw me into her, that's brilliant. Hopefully one of these has held the enemy. Turkey. Give me that turkey. There we go, full health turkey. Oh, they're wearing black now. Straight up to the uh, proper domination zone. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Oh, he got, he got the troll on me, fucking dirtbag. We should probably worry about her first. Simply because she'll be the easiest one to take out. See, she's already gone now. Oh, he's running circles around me. He's just fucking fast. I suppose he's a ninja. Yeah, he literally ran a circle around me and hit me in the back of the head. Dirt bike. Oh, it's another lift stage. I have a turkey. Because if you remember the. The lift stage from the first game, there was no health on it. You just have to literally make it the entire way through without dying. Or just, you know, lose the life. Hold the L. Oh, how the fuck did he get a counter throw in on that while I was kicking the shit over the other night? Nope, that is bad. Actually, my sweep, or whatever you want to call it, came in handy. Griffiths. What a terrible place to fight someone like this. There's just not enough space. Shit. It's hard to gauge this. Here, come at me. They are all over me. Oh, yeah, what a combo! Of course, I eat those words almost instantly. As I think I got the others. Ho oh, oh, that guy's a Pokemon. A fucking legendary bird from Gen 2. Although well, technically you can call him from Gen 1 because he's in the very first episode ever made. Not many people know that. Oh, that's a, that was a beautiful combo to get them all in on. It does remind me of Sagat, actually. <laughs> Sparrow, he's almost dead. One more hit. Shit, Avis has a lot of health. He's another fucking health guy. Until you catch him in a corner in the middle of a combo. Oh, it's the guy from the first level. I haven't seen him in a while. I did not mean to pick up that knife. It worked out in my favor, but I didn't need to do it. 
Soya. What kind of hardcore, like, gang name is Soya? You, you just... He'll have another one now when I come to the next step. His name will be, like, Gluten or something like that. I'm just trying to grab the back of right? Get knifed. Jumped over a knife. Them in a corner. Yeah. Put the shit out of him. Of course, so yeah. That's what happens when you bring a knife to a blaze fight. It's just me or is the color of the background changing? Not based on what we see, but it looked like it was going from darker to brighter. That's boss time. What the fuck is a robot? Two robots, Particle and Molecule. Okay, Particle has, well, Particle should have less health, but we're kicking the shit out of them. They are, oh! What a chain. They are fast. Now that I lost a knife, I might be in trouble. You have to be really fast on that. I love the noise of that, just like clonk, right in the back of the head. Oh yeah, they have a laser as well. It makes sense with their eye, that's what I was expecting from me. Man. How do you just break out me combo? Molecule is almost there. Oh, you can actually throw them. They're actually go almost there. How did that evade my <sighs> You know, big war machine, dead robots with lasers and spike flails. They're not shit on Blaze. Stage 8. Seems like the last level. Okay, and oxygen, what a name. Now they're just fucking. Oh, listen to that music. That's the title music right there. Bear Jr. Bear Hugger. That's who he reminds me of. I was trying to say it earlier. I couldn't remember his name. From Super Punch Out. Bear Hugger. Nope, that's bad. Missed him. Honda Irish drop. And a rug to supercharge. Hit one the shit out of me. Come on. My god, he's fast. so hard, even holding like down, you can't, you can't move out of that plane, it's a bitch. Come on. See? You can't move out of the plane. I was walking up the entire time. For fuck's sake, he took a whole extra life off me. A single little jab and I took him down. Lift stage. I was just thinking in my head, it's going to be a point where one of them just drops down on me and just you know, gets me with the kick, and it happens instantly. Okay, if I can hit 
big samurai guy out first. Get a decent breathing out. Slide in the corner, kick the shit out. What's his name? Vulture. Guess what? I'm the fucking vulture now on your life. That didn't make sense, did it? Yeah, vultures come down. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, I got greedy. I was gonna do it with style, but he dodged it. My own fault. How did that not knock him down? He got the fucking suplex on me. On the plus side, it does behoove me to fight this guy in a small enclosed area. Much easier to cheese him with the. Uh, it didn't come out. Fuck him. Second one didn't come out. Oh, he was hitting the mid combo. What are you doing? even hit him or if he's actually blocking it. That one didn't come out either. He's down, okay. Need some help though. Don't mind the kickboxer. They're pretty easy. Oh no, not the wrestler. I did have to say something, didn't I? Big focus is kill Phoenix. Which it shouldn't be too hard. One more hit, he's down. How did he suplex me? I had to drop on him. Here we go. So we're at the end, but it looks fun. This dude and his fucking it's like right hand ninja. And he also still has a shit of ponies. Just showing up. Now, big question is, do we have a repeat of Streets of Rage 1 boss with this? He's coming at us. Shiva! gonna cast some like Final Fantasy ice magic on us. Well he's actually doing worse. He's kicking the fuck out of me. He's got better kicks than I do. Let's continue. Five lives. He moved and he grabbed me during my combo on him. Come on, Shiva. Jesus Christ. He just moved so fast and grabbed me.
get fucking wrecked, shit. Here we go. Time to take on Vince McMahon himself. Oh no, he's got a machine gun. Mr. X. Remember how this goes? Vince McMahon himself over there. Yeah, it feels a little bit more manageable at least this time. And he can hurt his own guys. No, I was trying to grab... Grab him! Okay, uh, I did a special here and I didn't mean to, but it saved my bacon. Did it that time on purpose. Shh, encounter the air with that. Shoot the fucking bullets right out of his gun. Get stuffed, Mr. X. Stage A clear. Is that it? Are we done? Let's find out. Yeah, it looks like we are. Throw in a nice boring triple A. So let's see what our ending gives us. <laughs> Not much, by the looks of it. And I finished at a good time. Also, it's the, they have to rescue the guy from the first one, whose name I can't remember, because I don't use him. So that explains why he wasn't one of the choices. Because we had Axel and Blaze from the first one, and then we had Max and Scave from this one, which are new. Yuzo Koshiro, that's his name. I always get him mixed up with... I'm gonna try to remember another Japanese name here, but I think it's like... Yo Yoshino Oro? Yoshino Ono? The guy behind Street Fighter. So I sometimes mix them up because I'm not the best with Japanese names. So yeah, Streets of Rage 2 good game. Damn good game. I actually have a physical copy on my my Mega Drive. I have Streets of Rage 1 and 2, but not 3 on my Mega Drive. But of course I have it on this collection. So it will be coming soon. Team Streets of Rage. Zuzu, Toto, and YKK. Passy and Kyoto. But of course, Super Nintendo streams. They're the big one from now on. For a little while. That SNES Mini. So they're on like some sort of secret base island, because like there's a chopper there and everything. Max just overshadowing all of them by being a fucking big rip back. Look at him with a big muscular back, it's like his back has abs. Blaze, triple A, there's me at the top. I got... Wait a minute. Am I? Oh no, I would have lost a shitload of points because... Because I died, and had to continue. Fuck it, it doesn't matter. The game is complete, which is what does matters. Does matters, does matter. So that's it for this one. Thanks everyone for joining me, because otherwise it's just me talking shit, playing Streets of Rage. Well, playing Streets of Rage is always a good thing, so I can't complain about that. So tune back in in, I don't know, like two hours from now, when Super Nintendo streams will start. If that's your jam, if that's your thing, if not. Streets of Rage 3 is kind of further down the line because, well, I want to do a shitload of Super Nintendo streams because damn, Super Nintendo so good. Oh. Oh, hang on, so what is going on here? It's all good, Jack. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I appreciate anyone who shows up, even if they never say anything, even if they do say anything, even if they don't, even if whatever. 
Peace out, everyone. I'll see you on whatever the next one, be it a Super Nintendo one, Streets of Rage 3, or just random video comment sections. Peace out, everyone.